Welcome to Tennis Mechanics Level 1. This program is designed for beginners and intermediate tennis players. Material will cover most of fundamentals played in tennis game and is designed in easy step-by-step -step process to benefit these two levels of play. This lesson will not cover warm-up and cool-off phase of tennis game that will be covered in a separate lecture. But before you start playing or practicing, you should warm up to the best of your knowledge. Here is one suggestion of how you can do it. Start very slowly, almost as a lazy run. Gradually pick up on the pace till you achieve a jogging level. After that, you can run on the lines, faced the net. This way you will simulate most of the tennis movement. Ready position. In ready position, keep your feet approximately shoulder apart. For better balance, keep them a little bit wider than your shoulders. Bend your knees, just like you are going to take a seat, but bend them briefly. Posture is up straight and look forward in horizon of your eyes. Split step. Split step comes in a form of light hop, starting and finishing in your ready position. Keep your joints soft. Serve. Square up position. Stand with your front foot approximately 45 degrees behind the baseline. Back foot is within shoulder apart. Hips are sideways. Same applies to the racket. Tossing hand holds the ball and it's approximately around the neck of the racket. Lean your body weight briefly towards your back foot. Tossing motion. No toss. Both hands are going up, making a big circle around you. Make sure you go synchronized and try to lift them both in the same time. Keep your chin up and in the same time bend your knees, finishing in a trophy position. Half swing. Stand in your square up position with elbow elevated and break and lean on your shoulder. Toss a ball. Start swing from your legs, turning the hips first, following with your shoulders. After contact point, step forward and finish your follow through on the opposite side of your body. Now put the all parts together and perform as a one motion. Overhead. Split step. Unit turn and back swing. Turn sideways with both arms elevated and a non-hitting arm pointing at the ball. Half swing. Stand sideways in trophy position. Initiate the swing from your hips following with your shoulders and stretching your hitting arm as high as possible. Finish your follow through on the opposite side of your body. Putting whole motion together.
forehand, split step, unit turn and back swing. Keep yourself in nice and up straight posture. Initiate half of a turn with your hips. Slightly lift and separate your arms while holding a racket in stop sign position. Head of the racket is slightly above your wrist. Swing and contact point. Initiate the swing with your legs and turn your hips first. Start stretching your hitting arm and lead with the cap of the racket. This is best achieved if you keep your arm relaxed. Shift your body weight from back to front foot. Contact point in front of you, ideally with your arm stretched. Follow through. Finish with your racket above your opposite shoulder and with your elbow as high as your shoulders. Try to point elbow to desired target. Backhand, split step, unit turn and back swing. Keep yourself in nice and up straight posture. Initiate a half of turn with your hip. Keep head of the racket above your wrist. Swing and contact point. Initiate the swing with your legs and turn your hips first. Start stretching your arms. Shift your body weight from back foot to front foot. Contact point in front of you, ideally with your arms stretched. Follow through. Finish with your racket above your opposite shoulder and with your elbows as high as your shoulders. Backhand slice. Split step. Unit turn and back swing. Bring your racket with your non-hitting hand close to your ear and turn from hips sideways Hold majority of racket weight in your non-hitting hand. Swing and a contact point. Initiate swing with your body weight shifting from back foot to front foot. In the same time, start separating your arms in the opposite direction. With your hitting hand, bring racket face open to the ball. Contact point should stay in front of you. Follow through. Extend your arms in opposite direction with your racket pointed to desired target. Forehand volley. Split step. Unit turn and back swing. Slightly separate your arms to approximate parallel position between them. Turning from your hips slightly. Keep racket as high as your height. Contact point. Move to the ball with your body weight shift. With your tapping motion, step and place your opposite foot on the ground at the same time as you hit the ball. Follow through. Keep your racket above your hips and point a whole arm towards your target. Backhand volley. Split step. Unit turn and back swing. Bring your racket slightly back 
with your non-hidden hand to your ear. Turn from your hips slightly. Keep your racket as high as your height. Contact point. Move to contact point with your body weight shift. Separating your arms. With your stepping motion, step and place your foot on the ground at the same time as you hit the ball. Follow through. Keep your racket above your hips height and point with the whole arm towards your target.